What's going on guys to intuitive 717 with the saucy bossy and we're gonna dive into a message here I'm getting an odd message um, that the divine masculines are being slapped around with your energy divine feminine so I find that very interesting I'm gonna get your energy how do your masculines see you at this time divine feminine how do they see you Okay, so we do have the promise of unending love. I'll show you guys the picture real quick. Um, but I do have a sense of longing that I'm getting from your Divine Masculines. Um, also, too, like the connection or the feeling to you is coming back even stronger. And that tells them that this is an unending love. Um, they don't know how to explain it. It's just a feeling okay a lot of the times too it's a very sensual feeling that i'm getting from your masculine that really tells them that that's my person that's how they're feeling to like towards this divine feminine they could be getting a lot of signs as well um around your energy okay they could be uh, it says fidelity here guys and one of the things that i think that your masculine finds really attractive about you is loyalty um i don't know why i'm getting that with the four here but stability as well is what i'm hearing like you've been a stable force in their life you've been a stable energy in their life um and that's something that they they can't let go of they can't seem to walk away okay it's like they're always stuck at the gate never fully being able to leave or walk away from this connection it's like you two hold this invisible bond that's also filled with a lot of chemistry and passion and i'm getting that that's why it's maybe hard to forget you um i'm hearing you check all the boxes with your divine masculines you may be ripping this masculine away from something as well because the energy in this card here is that it like i'm, I'm seeing it as very secretive um, you could also be the one in a relationship or a marriage divine feminine and this kind of seems very forbidden at this time but it's like you can't help yourself um, you feel this strong pull to this divine masculine um, and again it doesn't matter what your circumstances are maybe it's the masculine that's the one that's involved um, it doesn't always have to be a person as the karmic partner the karmic um, interference it could range from family friends jobs distance um, age gaps all of these things that are thrown into the mix but your energy has been very steady okay and fidelity I've, I'm also getting that you two have done this in many lifetimes before um, I feel too like the pomegranates as well or at least they look like pomegranates in the picture for me um, it talks about fertility so part of this unending love that this masculine feels towards you um, I feel like with the chemistry too it has a lot to do with something that's coming up next for you okay there's something more to this both of you may be feeling stagnant in your current relationships and there's something that keeps pulling you towards this person and I feel like with your masculines what's driving them insane and maybe messing with their logic and how they're able to think clearly right now is uh, like the sensual energy okay that's really really pulling them towards you and that's why i'm feeling fertility um it could be like that whole energy of release okay with the divine feminine rushing towards you longing for you there's something too about like i keep getting the strong pull towards the energy of being like forbidden is really making you both crave one another even more okay this could be a divine masculine that maybe watches you online if you do have uh, if you are married or if you do have a family they could often fantasize what that might be like to experience that with you even living in the same house as you you may experience that as well divine feminine where you may wonder what that's like with your divine masculine um i do feel like with this particular card oh i'm sorry sweetheart did i scare you i do feel like with this particular card as well um like something is keeping you both apart fidelity could also be something that's keeping you guys apart okay i feel like i'm sensing and it doesn't have to resonate for everybody here but two people who feel this twin flame love but it's forbidden because you both could be in marriages where fidelity is something that you honor or it's something that's important to you and now you're on this very painful journey of longing or missing someone that you have all of this chemistry and unending love with 
um, and, and you can't seem to walk away from. That's what I'm feeling with the Divine Masculines. It's like they can't seem to walk away from your energy. They're being slapped around with it everywhere they go. Um, I'm also hearing too many masculines maybe getting ready to be truthful about how it is they feel just for the sake of like their mental health. Um, finances and career could be something that's been affecting, like with fidelity there, this could be part of the reasons why they may choose to stay. Um, because there's a lot on the table, there's a lot to be um, lost and there's a lot to be given up. There's many people to be affected by this. Um, again, the karmic situation could also be finances and career it could be money keeping you guys apart stability in that area of your life um, or it could be a career a job your masculine constantly choosing to um, you know go here there and everywhere to pursue their goals their dreams and putting love on the back burner and that's something that you guys are having to deal with um, you know despite this strong connection between you two um, you know those those karmic situations are still there that keep you both apart okay but regardless yeah i do feel like it's apparent here that many of your masculines are feeling your energy really strongly divine feminine it's something that they can't walk away from i brought this up before but i feel like a lot of your masculines may not say twin flame but i feel like the closest thing they would maybe say is soulmate so that could be something that they're feeling with this frustrated energy of not being able to leave a situation it's like you can't stay you can't leave it's like feeling trapped is what i'm getting with the masculine standing here at the gate um either feeling trapped in a relationship that they're currently in and they can't pursue you and it's like that is the fate that they're dealing with um and it's this longing it's like if this is my soulmate then why are the circumstances the way it is let's get why why are you guys having to deal with the karmic situations Okay, there's a lot of chemistry with these two. Maybe being able to control this passion, control these emotions, um, becoming more grounded or like seeking more truth in why it is you connected with this person versus like the attraction, okay? Because I feel like for some of your masculines, they just want to run to you because this attraction is... Uh, it, like it might be over the top, okay? It might be overcoming them right now um something here that's coming out with the cold and detachment card guys is um if they are in another situation i feel like the chemistry and the passion that exists between you two doesn't exist in this relationship um finances and career tells me that it could be more of like a situation that you know you meet someone and then you get married and then over time it becomes like a contract where it's like okay you know we're both making enough money um we have the kids we have the house we have the car um, and let's just kind of keep this going, but it may be like cold and detached or passionless is what I'm hearing. That's why with the two of you, you're getting these cards combined. Attraction hot along with chemistry, okay? And even the soulmate card, okay? Unending love. Um, this could be a divine masculine that silently craves passion in their life, and that is why you have shown up, is to show them a glimpse of that. But now it's time to deal with the you know the car the karmic side of it is what i'm getting you know recognizing um the patterns that they're in and the path that they have chosen and you know ideally what are they going to do about it so that's what i have for you guys for this short check-in um you know take it as it resonates um for you but i just i i kind of wanted to 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 do this reading because i feel like someone is like you see this card here your energy has like slapped this person in the face in terms of this is what i could be experiencing but you know i have to either sacrifice or i have a duty to do something else or to carry out something else um, and many of you may be seeing that or feeling that or sensing that um or as the divine feminine you know you could be on this end as well um, you could be watching this and this could be feeling like, hey, you know what, at the end of the day, like it's me, I'm the one that's married or um, I'm the one that's that's feeling this connection so much, but there's so much um, in the way of me being able to fully connect with this person. And it is a painful journey and I really, you know, sympathize and empathize with many of you. Um, but I hope this reading brings clarity and at least see like kind of 
um, validates or seals the deal on your intuition of what you've been picking up um, with your with your counterpart. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.